Well, hello and welcome to yet another edition of Pandas Mobile. Um, we are today going to be looking at the uh, Outdoor Revolution Cayman Snapper Awning that I got for the back of Hetty. Um, it was poor purchase second hand. I think I paid 90 quid for it and I bought it because of the colour but it's got a lot of great features on it as well. So today we're going to be looking at the Outdoor Revolution Cayman Snapper and for those of you who are Arnold Spotters uh, here he is, God bless him, sunning himself in the window of Hetty in this beautiful sunshine. It's Easter Sunday down here at the Canterbury Caravan and Camping Club campsite. Absolutely gorgeous. And before we head into the actual review of the Outdoor Revolution Cayman Snapper in that wonderful lime green, I just thought I'd give you a quick picture of the pack size. You may not be able to see, but that is about two foot long, that bag, and about a foot square. And it goes back into there quite easily if you roll it properly. Everything's in there, it's poles, it's pegs and everything. So there it is in its pack size. Fits in Hetty's uh, Luton perfectly well, lives in there all the time. So why did I go for a second-hand Outdoor Revolution Cayman Snapper awning? Well, first of all, this wonderful lime green colour. I absolutely love it. Um, so I was determined to find one, and I was very lucky to find one um, a couple of years ago now. I've been very pleased with it. Um, some features on it. The window there, which I'm focusing on now, you can see the tripod through the window. That's nice because it's also got a curtain, or if you like, a, a cover shield that rolls down from the inside. Also, it's got a door on this side, which is rather nice as well. And quite obviously then, as you've seen, it has a door here as well. And as we look through, you can see it's got a door on the other side as well. So it's got openings on all four sides, so it acts as a sun canopy and a awning. Now, the reason I wanted something like this was particularly because when I'd taken the Harrison style awning to Ebury Hill it was very very hot in there, it was a beautiful summer's day and it was very hot so um, I decided I needed something with at least one opening side and did a bit of research and that's what I found. So this is how it attaches to Hetty. Now you're always going to be um, fighting a losing battle with uh, Roma Homes uh, certainly C15s and Bilingo Roma homes because they've got a tail door so you have to get a tailgate awning for them or something like that so the thing to look for when you're trying to get an awning for one of these is a long tunnel the tunnel is a bit across there that connects the tent bit if you like to the back of the van and a nice long tunnel so it does tuck in the van does tuck in rather nice um, and it's simply on this one pegs down there, my rubbish on the floor, so it simply pegs down there and holds it there and a little bit further along just here by the back wheel pulls in down there. You could, and I plan to, use one of my um, other rubber suction cups on here to pull that tight. Now what does happen is if you're not careful a wind gets up and plastic and the steps at night start tapping against the side of the van so you need to avoid that and you can do that by t turning these round and putting a plastic peg or something over there to keep them on the outside so they don't tap against the van. I mean, I, I could remove them, but I don't really want to. So it's one thing to look at when you get your awnings and you hear a tap, tap, tap. It's because something on probably the tunnel part here is tapping against the van. Apart from that, it's really good. Floor space, 2.5 by 2.5 metres. It's pretty much the same size as a Harrison awning, which means that I just, just fit on a standard pitch at a caravan camping club site. Here you will see, just in front of my shadow there, just there, that's the chalk end of my pitch, and as you see, just come slightly up beyond the end of the pitch but I could go forward about a foot so that would that would sort it out okay this got one more trick up its sleeve this uh this awning and I'll demonstrate that to you now so there we go the more observant amongst you will notice that 
the front entrance flap, if you like, has now been turned into a sun canopy. So a sun canopy comes off the, the front. It can be turned into a sun canopy, which is quite nice. There is a bit of a disadvantage with that. I think it's about 1.5 metres, and it puts me <laughs> about 2 metres outside the uh, length of my pitch. But um, in on a CL or a CS or something, you might easily be able to get away with it. Um, there was a pitch I used at Winchcombe, which I managed to have it up quite often. Um, but that was the reason I went for this awning in particular, is because it acts as a sun canopy. It can shut up. Each individual side can shut up. Um, it can um, zip up from the inside as well. So as we go inside here, there, this piece here, this roll here, that can roll down comes down that zipper there toggles in the bottom there's a little hole there it toggles into under the step just there and then zips down there and this can become all encompassing then it can become a solid tent structure if you like and I think it had been used as a beach shelter in its previous life because uh, it was full of sand when I've got it um, disadvantages, well it's a tailgate awning, so theoretically I've got it the wrong way around, look. I couldn't drive out of there, I've only put it up to show you today, but I can't drive out, so unfortunately, normally the awning is up against a fence or something, um, a non a non pretty side, because that's how it is. Um, other problems with it, well when you've got a side down, I haven't got a side zip down at the moment, let's quickly, let's quickly show you easy just to zip the side down. I'll undo the toggle there, I'll undo a toggle there. Let's zip the side down there. <coughs> and this is the side that's into the wind. And you'll see the other slight problem that this, um, this awning has. Uh, I think I've over tension this side a little bit because uh, this does not want to zip up. Hang on, oh I'm struggling here with one hand but I might get somewhere. I might be able to do it. There it goes. Right. Now what happens is, so there it is zipped up that side. What happens is, and it's happened to me at Winchcombe a couple of times, is that the wind blows against this. It doesn't take much. To push it, try and get a side by zero that for you. To push it a long, long way in and start interfering with tables and that that's inside. Um, so that can be a bit of a disadvantage. But there it is, it's a nice light coloured awning. Uh, again, another disadvantage to it is it's got a very grey roof. And <laughs> if you sit inside, it doesn't always keep the sun off so much because it's got a very light coloured roof. But all in all, I'm quite satisfied with it. Now, tailgate awnings, various vehicles, as you can just see down there, I don't bother trying to get it tight against the side. You're not going to get it tight against the side. And then when you want to drive away, you've got to mess around with it all. So I sort of leave it about a foot from either side. So when I come back from driving away, I just manoeuvre myself between the pegs. Near enough is good enough, I say. And the other thing about it, of course, <laughs> is that this tunnel folds back, rolls up, and hooks inside these toggles when you've driven away. Another one down here. So that it can neatly just be toggled away and it stands like a freestanding tent when you've gone. Now, Cayman Snappers are still available on eBay and that sort of thing. They do turn up occasionally. They made them in a wonderful blue colour, a chilli red, which was fabulous. I almost wanted a chilli red, nearly bought one, bought this one instead, and this wonderful lime green colour. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, the other reason I showed you is that Outdoor Revolution still do make um, Cayman awnings. Now, they're not the Cayman snapper, but they are very very similar to came to the snapper with a number of opening sides so it's worth looking at and the other thing about this one and I think with the others is with the roof up or down 
doesn't really matter you can lower and raise the roof with the tunnel in place and that's a real bonus on a high low I suspect it's the same on the Bolingo they don't raise much more at the back I don't think so that is it that is my Cayman snapper awning I use it with obviously I put a carpet down inside normally I've just chucked it up today but it's normally a carpet down inside here so that you can see uh, so that sort of keeps the cold out a little bit um, it's become a very versatile and certainly a summer awning for me so I'm very pleased with it so there we go the Cayman snapper awning made by Outdoor Revolution do turn up I paid 90 quid for this I know other people have got them cheaper uh, but well worth it if you get the opportunity come in blue chilly red which is fabulous do look them up on the internet or this wonderful green colour um, 2.5 metre by 2.5 metre if you want an idea of the size um, that's it hope you've enjoyed this little one um, look forward to seeing you in the next one do like and subscribe if you're into C15 and or Roma home videos thanks bye Here's a quick tip for rolling up the side of any tent, um, particularly when it's got a long side like this out. Two metres long, really hard to roll it up. Do not fret, it's very easy. Bring one corner over to the other, fold it up, get a bit of a roll going, and then just keep rolling. And it will soon sort itself out as you go. Yep. So if you're trying to do all this at a distance, doesn't it? Quite simple.